But then it's not down to the quality. It's not down how many megapixels. I was uh, in Vegas uh, and I was out there and there was this uh, photographer's uh, gallery. And um, all these pictures he had in there, you know who it is when I mention the picture. Well, you know the picture. It's of a big grizzly bear standing in the middle of a, of a stream. And this salmon literally just jumps into his mouth. Big right. old bear literally jumps into his mouth. <clears throat> it looks completely photoshopped. But but no, it was you know taken at the time exactly how it was, probably about twenty years ago. And then also we had another picture in there of this eagle soaring in the sky, and it's this massive print. And it was I don't know, it's sort of like two meters by a meter wide, massive print. I think it was charging probably about thirty thousand dollars for it, but <laughs> that was Vegas. Uh, and then when you read the actual spec on it, it was it was taken on like a thirty five mil camera. 35 mil of film, and you just think nowadays, well, you know, you want something, you know, you want all your megapixels for that. But it just goes to show if the picture is is of a good enough, if the subject is good enough, if the yeah. picture captures <clears throat> your imagination and really, you know, does something, it doesn't really actually matter how, you know, good the, or how large the pixels are, whatever. No. It's, people get wrapped up in, oh, I need more megapixels. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's what you're actually taking pictures of that is the key thing. And yeah, you know, and that's why, you know, you, you know, the pictures taken at parties when you've had a few uh, <laughs> are usually some of the best pictures because you just got something there at hand at the right minute. You just capture it. Everything's working right. You just get that, you know, lovely shot. If you try to set that up again with, yeah. you know, lights, big setup, whatever, you just wouldn't get that spontaneity. So it's down to sort of like the picture. And the um, and the subject matter is what makes a good picture, not necessarily how good the actual camera is. 